of the goals of our research is to be able to make better predictions. When we collect data in the field, it tells us about the Earth system right now. But what we're interested in as scientists is what happens in 10 years or 100 years or 10,000 years. And so what we want are to collect data so that we can say something about water availability or water use in the future. I bike to work just because it's a great way to uh, get outside. It's a great way to clear my head. It's a really wonderful way to start the day. And so um, I'll bike any chance I get. So what we have is there's going to be two wells out in the field. Um, there's an old one that's deep that's got a metal casing at the top, and there's a new one. The basic purpose of my research is to think about things like how water is stored under the surface. So we have some idea about water availability to us as consumers, as users. Part of the reason that this work is important is because we use water for drinking, we use it for manufacturing, we use it for cleaning things, and there's just a limited amount of available water on the planet that we can use. So water is just critical to everything that we do in this, on this planet. And catching that initial change in water level is really hard. All right, we are heading to Geoscience 452, which is a hydrogeology class. But what I want to know is what's the drawdown at that well? The question is whether you subtract them or add them. What I enjoy about teaching is, I mean, more than anything, is just the energy of the students. They're really intelligent people that are coming into their own as scientists. So one of my goals is to excite other people about some of the neat problems that are out there in the Earth system. Why don't we start talking through this so that I can get the answer to you guys before you have to run away? You see that there is a power streak in there? Perfect. And we're going to go up the hill right up here to your left. So the instruments that we're using today in the field uh, measure two things. We're looking at how broken up the rock is because that tells us something about how easily water can move through it and what's the volume of, of space on the subsurface that can hold water. The other thing we're looking at is the fracturing, how broken up the rock is. And so we're actually going to use a camera to visualize the fractures and that tells us about how well connected one well might be to another well here. A lot of the water that we use is underground. It's like a natural storage reservoir down there. Part of what makes it an interesting place to study, though, is that we can't see anything. And so the underground piece of the, the water cycle is a really interesting but very complicated place to be. You can actually see it. See how the, uh... actually, this is pretty cool. So it's a, it's a really busy job. I work whatever 60 hours of the week I want to work. And I've got the job of a teacher, I've got the job of a, a researcher, and I've got the job of constantly writing grants to try to get money to fund the research that we do. So um, it's really busy, I'm trying to balance all of those pieces. One of the really fun things about the job is getting to be your one-person MacGyver, that we're constantly duct-taping things together or soldering wires. You know, I don't have a training necessarily in electrical work or in welding and all these other things, but you suddenly find yourself out in the field needing to fix something, and, uh, and that's quite a lot of fun. My dad told me at one point that I should go to college so that I didn't find myself digging ditches for the rest of my life, and so I went to college and now I'm digging ditches for the rest of my life, but I can't imagine a more fun job. Scientists are the people that get to ask all the really interesting, exciting questions about why the Earth does what it does so that lots of other people don't need to think about where we get our water from or the gas we put in our cars. A lot of scientists get to do the work behind the scenes for those questions.